Uh, hey, uh, this is my videos 102, and as you see in my last video on the Reming Crossman Remington Master, um, the gun was black and clear. Um, I'm going to be showing you uh, what I used to uh, camo this gun. Um, simple things like uh, paint, which I'll get to in a bit. Newspaper, I mean uh, loose leaf tape. The BBs. I'll show you how I'm shooting the gun. Um, I'm gonna go over the gun. Um, on the gun, I did a really good job. What I used was the tape to cover over the orange tip. Did a really good job on the orange tip. Um, I used uh, Krylon Fusion Plastic Spray Paint. Krylon right there. Um, all the other companies with paint or Krylon. I used the brown Krylon right here for the brown, of course. And just hints of black. You may not be able to see on the camera, but right here. And on the butt sock, I left that part black. Um, and black strips right here. Um, yes, I used, I painted over the metal safety, which is right here. But I didn't paint over the metal trigger because I do like the metal trigger. It turned out really well. Most of the lettering on the gun you can still see, like Remington is still there. Wingmaster is still there. Might be a bit blurry on the camera. Push for safe is right here. Um, so, you know, when I did the pump, um, I started off with the pump and the bot stock, of course. Um, I took a loose leaf, took the loose leaf, cut it about that much, so about two inches, and I used two of those, I stuck one down through here, along here, and then I stuck one under the gun, but I didn't tape it on the other side, then after that, I taped both of them together, and then I spray painted the rest of the gun with just you know clean sweeps because if you do like just like that it'll leave it really crappy right blotches and stuff um it's probably the best gun I've painted with my Pulsar 70 it wasn't so good but this is the best one I've done um, I may have to do a couple touch ups but that's nothing um I took off the the sight on it and uh, down where the screw goes in, right here, um, there's a hole. I just covered that part over with tape when I took this off so it wouldn't go in the hole where you put the screw in. Otherwise, you couldn't put it back in. So, it's pretty easy to do when, just look it up on YouTube and stuff, watching this video, leave a comment if it helped you or not. But always remember to leave good comments because I really don't like when people leave mean comments about the gun or how I did it. Um, it's a really good way to camo it and it depends on where you live. Well, in my last video I didn't say but I bought this gun for about 50 bucks at Bass Pro Shops um, in Vaughan, Ontario. I got it shipped down to where I live in Canada. Um, Krylon is a really good company. It's what I use all the time. Krylon. It's all in the other cans. This can right here, it's for many other things. So it cost me $9 for this can. And the other two, like the black and the green, all cost me, the green and the black, they both cost me $6. So without further ado, I'm going to show you after painting it because sometimes when you paint your gun, it may get in the barrel and screw it up so I'm just going to show you how it works after me painting it. Alright, thanks. Um, sit back and enjoy the show YouTube. Oh yeah, hold on. Another thing is that we're going to have to load this gun with BBs since I haven't yet. Um, make the spray. Oh yeah, I almost forgot to show you. Um, how I did it is really good because Nothing, you know, like shows up on it, so it looks like it's really good. Take the BBs, pour it down there. Uh, 
sure that I put 30 in, probably put about 20 dBs in there to oil the spring up. Another thing you might want to do is buy some little cheap plastic black uh, little mitts um, to, uh, you know, like, so you don't, your sweat can sometimes, like, make the paint drip a bit. And um, it's pretty bad when it melts. So without further ado, I'm going to show you how after painting the gun, it still works completely fine. Um, we're going to be shooting from about 20 feet right over here. And just sit back and enjoy the show, you do. Okay, um, next test shoot, we're going to show you uh, the aftermath. Around the end, I kind of just went whatever, right? But it's accurate, one hit dead center, right there. Um, yep, down here, we're going to have just, you know, good looking gun. On the butt stock right here, my friend actually, uh, well not really. Um, guy I know, he said, which side was it? This side, he thought that's what these butt stock actually looked like when it came with it. Other people may have a different comment, but without uh, further ado, um, please don't point any mean comments on my videos because no one ever likes it. And just be respectful and be kind to everybody. Um, thanks for watching the rerun or whatever you want to call it. The look over of the camo um, Remington Master Air Crossman Remington Master Airsoft Shotgun. All right, thanks YouTube.